Today you will be graphing linear equations with zombies. This is a video tutorial to help you get started. Now for this tutorial we'll be doing the first equation for the activity shown. If you are doing this in standard form or point slope form, the same tutorial does apply. I'm going to look at my equation which is in slope intercept form and I'm going to find my starting point which will be negative 5 on the y axis because that is my y intercept. I'm going to grab my equation and I'm going to drag it down near negative 5 on the y axis and you'll see why in just a moment. Now once you have placed your equation near the correct starting point, you're going to want to zoom in. So we're going to go to this zoom tool, we're going to left click. That's going to change my pointer to a zoom tool. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. I like to do two clicks. Now notice my cursor is still the zoom tool. To get rid of that, I'm simply going to press the escape key on the keyboard. Now I can readjust a little bit so I can see everything I need to see and we're ready to graph our line. So I'm going to go here to the line tool and I'm just going to click on it. And then I'm going to go to my starting point which is negative 5 on the y-axis in this case and I'm going to click one time. Now this will place a line but it's not the line I need yet. However what I do need is to make sure my starting point is correct. I will not be touching that, it will stay where it's at. I'm going to grab this side, click down and I'm going to begin to build my line. Now my slope is one half, which means I'm going to rise one, run two, rise one, run two, rise one, run two. I like to do it three times and then I'm going to get those crosshairs right where they need to be. Now I have the start of my line, but I need to extend it all the way across the graph. So I'm going to go back to that zoom tool and this time I'm going to right click to zoom out. So right click, right click. And once again, I will press escape to get back to having a pointer. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that line that I've made and I'm going to extend it. And I'm going to do my best, you can see it moves, to keep it in line with the mini line that I started with. Now we'll zoom back in again. You can do one or two, it works just fine. And press escape to get rid of that zoom tool. And now I'm going to check my line. And the way I'm going to do that is just check my slope. One, two, one, two, and I'm going to continue doing that all the way through. And in, now around here, I start to notice that I'm not quite where I need to be. So I can just grab this guy and just slightly adjust him and then go back to checking. Rise one, run two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Now once I have it going up, because remember slope always goes to the right when we're getting it on the graph, now I can grab the back half of that line and I can extend it out this way. And once again, we're going to check it the same way, but this time we're going backwards. One, two, one, two, one, two, and we're looking pretty good. Get a little bit off here at the end, not too much, but precision is key in this activity, and I can adjust my line. I can zoom back out really quick with a right click, get centered on the activity, and now I have my line drawn, which is line J. Press escape to get out of that zoom tool, and we see that line J got this zombie right here, so we're going to pull our line over here. And you've now successfully got your first zombie and graphed your first linear equation. Have fun getting zombies and good luck with the activity today.